This is Italy, which will soon disappear off the world atlas. This is a village in Italy where once thousands used to live, but today this whole village is deserted, while there are 6,000 villages like this in the land of Italy, which have been left alone and deserted over the past few years. In the shadow of its grand historical monuments, and amidst the vibrant echoes of its rich cultural heritage, Italy confronts an invisible crisis that could redraw its future. This is not a tale of an ancient civilization swallowed by volcanic ash, or an empire crumbling under the weight of barbarian invasions. Rather, it is the quiet, creeping specter of demographic decline, a nation on the brink of vanishing not by cataclysm, but by the simple stark reality of empty cradles and silent classrooms. Italy, a land synonymous with history, art, and life, now faces a paradox that challenges its very essence, a dramatic population decline. In this video, we are going to explore the reasons for this decline and why Italy as we know it will be no more. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments section. Imagine walking through a village where the laughter of children once filled the air, now silenced, the doors shuttered, the playgrounds empty. An example would be this 300 years old school in Italy. Millions of Italian children have studied in this very famous school. But there is not a single child inside the school's classrooms today. Teachers in Italy are actually being fired because there are no students in the classrooms. This is becoming an increasingly common sight in Italy, where the low murmur of an aging population might soon be the dominant chorus. This narrative explores the multifaceted crisis facing Italy, a crisis that is as much about today as it is about tomorrow. As we peel back the layers of this demographic decline, we confront the stark reality. Italy could be on the path to becoming a nation of ghost towns and forgotten communities unless significant changes are made. A century ago, Italy's streets buzzed with the vitality of large families, a common sight in a predominantly agricultural society. The birth rate hovered around 5.2 children per family. However, post World War II advancements and social changes ushered in a new era. The introduction of a robust social welfare system, coupled with industrial growth, shifted societal values and economic necessities. The transformation was stark. By the mid-20th century, as Italy reveled in its post-war resurgence, the fertility rate began its steady, unyielding decline. This was not unique to Italy. It mirrored global trends. Italy's health minister himself said that Italy is a dying country. And the reason is that children are not being born in Italy. Italy's total fertility rate over the past 50 years is the lowest. Throughout Italy, there are over 6,000 villages like the one described, where silence has replaced the daily bustle. These villages, once brimming with families and farmers, now stand as monuments to a looming crisis. The desolation speaks volumes, from a thriving community to a near ghost town, reflecting a broader demographic trend that could redefine the country's rural landscape permanently. The demographic shift threatens more than just the social fabric. It looms over the economy with a foreboding shadow. Experts predict that if the trend continues, the entire economy of Italy will collapse in the next 10 years. As of today, the average age for Italy is 48 years. For Pakistan, it is 21, while for India, it's 28 years. 24% of the Italy population is above 65 years of age, and this is constantly increasing. But the question is how Italy reached this stage. A century ago, Italy's rate of natural increase was 5.2, and until 1970, Italy's birth rate stayed above 2. The aging population means fewer workers, diminishing productivity, and an increased dependency ratio, where fewer active workers support more retirees, straining public finances and social security systems. With a shrinking population, the real estate market faces a glut of housing with too few inhabitants, leading to potential collapse in property values. Additionally, the demographic decline poses significant challenges for national defense, with fewer young people available to serve in the military. Italy will be vulnerable against invasion or attacks on its borders. The country is also faced with an inevitable change economic crisis, as there are a lack of young laborers for its factories or industries.
Policies like the controversial budget law, which undermines job security for women upon pregnancy, as well as their blank resignation policy, which means that as soon as any female worker becomes pregnant, the company can fire her without any notice or reason. These unjust policies have further discouraged the younger generation from starting families. Such policies not only impact population growth, but also reflect broader societal values that prioritize career over family, exacerbating the demographic decline. Unlike in many Western nations, children born in Italy to immigrant parents do not automatically receive citizenship. This policy, coupled with stringent immigration laws, discourages long-term settlement by immigrants who could otherwise help offset the population decline. As a result, many choose to move to more welcoming environments in Northern Europe where upon birth, the baby would naturally become a citizen. The Italian job market presents its own set of challenges, particularly for the youth. About 70% of Italians aged 18 to 34 are trapped in non-permanent jobs, a reflection of economic instability and recurring recessions. Consider this. The situation in Italy is such that in the country where pizza came from, Domino's had to close all its stores due to a lack of customers. This precarious employment landscape places additional stress on young adults contemplating the financial responsibilities of parenthood. While Italy's situation is severe, it is not unique. Countries across Europe and Asia face similar demographic challenges. Japan, for example, has long grappled with declining birth rates and an aging population. Learning from countries like Sweden, which has successfully managed its demographic challenges through progressive family policies, Italy could explore similar strategies. These might include better parental leave, incentives for young families, and a more inclusive approach to immigrant integration. Cultural perceptions and social norms play critical roles in family planning decisions. In Italy, traditional views on family and work are evolving, but perhaps not quickly enough to counteract the demographic trends. A cultural shift towards valuing larger families, supported by policy changes, may be necessary. The global population is expected to peak in the next few decades, with declines anticipated post-2050. For Italy, the implications are immediate and pressing. Without intervention, the country may face not only a diminished populace, but also a retraction of its role on the global stage. Italy stands at a crossroads, facing a demographic crisis that threatens its very essence. Let's start a debate about this topic in the comments section. What are your thoughts? Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more educational and informative videos.